Hello everyone, my name is Imri Mainuddin. I am going to discuss some basics of uh, today's lab, which is RC circuit. So, what is capacitor? Uh, a capacitor is a storing device. It can store electrical energy. And any two conductors separated by a vacuum or insulated medium form a capacitor. So for a capacitor, we need two conduct, uh, conductors. For example, we have a conductor A and conductor B separated by a vacuum. And the charge on conductor A is positive Q and charge on conductor B is negative Q. So there is an electric field in between these two charges and the energy is stored in this field. Now, total charge of any conductor is, uh, sorry, total charge of any capacitor is zero because we have positive charge and equal amount of negative charge. So by means of charge in a capacitor, we mean the charge on is split. For example, uh, we have charge in this capacitor that is Q. Now, how much charge uh, a capacitor can store, it is depends on several factors, like the geometry of the plates and the medium uh, in between the plates. And it is defined by the capacitance. So the capacitance is the ratio between the charge on a capacitor and the potential difference between the plates of that capacitor. Uh, for example, uh, in a capacitor, uh, there are Q amount of charge, and the potential difference between the plates is V then C, or capacitance, is Q over V. Uh, the unit of capacitance is farad. So one farad is equal one coulomb over one volt. Uh, now, to charge and discharge a capacitor, we can explain a simple circuit. Like we have a battery, we have a capacitor, and we have a bulb. If we connect this capacitor to the battery, then uh, the top plate of the battery, which is connected to the positive of the battery, will take positive charge, and bottom plate will be will get negative charge, and these two charges will be equal but opposite. Now, if we disconnect it from the battery, then this capacitor will hold this charge for long. If we want to discharge it, then uh, we have to connect it uh, with, with a load. Here we have a load that is bulb. If we connect the capacitor to the bulb, then those charge will be uh, transferred to the bulb, and it will be discharged. So you can see that initially the brightness of the bulb was uh, high because initially the capacitor has maximum charge and it starts discharging. Now the capacitor has no charge and there is no current so the bulb has no brightness. Okay, so uh, let us consider an RC circuit. Uh, an RC circuit has one resistor R and one capacitor C and a battery. Now. Uh, the capacitor will be charged charged through the resistor if we connect the circuit. So we we'll consider three different time. Uh, T equals zero. This is uh, just after the circuit was constructed, and some intermediate time T equal T, and after long time, I mean uh, T equal infinity. So if we consider the voltage across the resistor and the capacitor and the current through the capacitor, then when T equals zero then the resistor, I mean, uh, the voltage across the resistor will be equal to the uh, voltage across the battery because initially the capacitor has no charge, so Q equals zero, then the voltage will be also zero because we know that uh, Q equals CV or V equals Q over C. Now, uh, the charge in the circuit, uh, sorry, the current in the circuit will be maximum, so IC will be I max. Also, uh, it's a series circuit, so current through the capacitor or current through the resistor or current through the battery will be the same. And if we consider some intermediate time, then uh, the potential difference across the resistor will decrease. We will have some values which is less than uh, the battery voltage. And the voltage across the capacitor will increase. It initially it was zero, and it will have some values VC, but which is also less than the battery voltage and there will be some values of the current. And if you consider a long time, after a long time, the capacitor will be fully charged. Then the potential difference across the capacitor will be equal to the potential difference of the battery, and the potential difference across the resistor will be zero. Then the current in the circuit will be zero. Well, we can uh, consider one thing that 
uh, in a simple capacitive circuit, when T equals zero, this capacitor acts like a short circuit. So we can consider uh, there, there is nothing, it's just sh short circuit. Uh, hence, uh, this voltage across the R will be equal to the voltage across the battery. And after a long time, we can consider a capacitor as a short circuit, I mean open circuit. So just this is open. So there will be no current in this circuit. So I will be zero. And as there is no uh, current through the resistor, so the voltage will be zero. And the voltage across the battery will be equal to the voltage across the capacitor. And if you consider uh, discharging of the capacitor, so we have a capacitor fully charged. It is uh, one terminal has positive, other has negative, and it's connected to resistor. So it will be discharged. Again, we'll consider the three different scenario: time t equals zero, t equals t, and t equals infinity. When t equals zero, then uh, the resistor will have equal, uh, same voltage as the capacitor, and the current in the circuit will be maximum. And after some time, both will decrease. The voltage across the capacitor and the voltage across the resistor both will in, uh, decrease, and it will have some intermediate values. But if we consider a long time, then the capacitor will be fully discharged. Then there will be no potential difference across the capacitor. Also, there will be no potential difference across the resistor, and the current of the circuit will be zero. So we can see that uh, in this case, always the voltage across the resistor and the voltage across the capacitor are equal. OK, and now let us consider that there are two capacitors. Uh, who are connected in series. So the top plate of C1 is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So it will be charged as positive. Let us also consider this charge is Q. So due to induction, the other plate of the capacitor will have equal amount of negative charge. Now, these two plates are completely isolated. So their total charge must be zero. As this plate has some negative charge, this plate will have some uh, have equal amount of positive charge. And as total charge is conserved, so this plate will have equal amount of negative charge. So from here, we can see that for a series combination of capacitor, charge on each plate equal. So positive Q, negative Q, positive Q, and ne negative Q. Uh, so, so charge on each, plate, each capacitor will be the same. But if you consider the voltage, then we know that uh, voltage uh, we can get the voltage from the equation Q equal C times V or V equal Q over C. As C different for these two capacitors, so the voltage uh, across different capacitor will be uh, different. Okay, now uh, we'll discuss uh, capacitor in parallel. So let us consider we have two capacitor C, uh, with capacitance C1 and C2 uh, in parallel. So here we can see that both capacitor have same voltage, which is VAB. So in this case, the charge on each capacitor will be different because again, we know that Q is C times V, where C is the capacitance and V is voltage. As C is different, so the charge will be different. Uh, but both the capacitor is connected uh, across this voltage, so the voltage across different capacitor will be same. Now I, uh, I am going to discuss one example. Here uh, we have two resistors and two capacitors and one battery. So we'll discuss uh, two different scenario. One when T is zero. T is zero means just after we make the circuit. And T is infinity, it's after a long time. Okay, so we say that uh, we can consider those capacitor as a short circuit when t equals zero, and we can consider this as open circuit when t is infinity. Now, if both of them are short-circuited, then the resistance here is zero, the resistance here is zero. So at this point, uh, there are two paths for the current. Current can go through this path, or it can go through this path. Now, as in this path, there, uh, there is no resistance, so all the current will go through this path, and there will be no current here. So as there, are, there is no current uh, through R2, 
So the potential across R2 will be 0. And as all the current is passing through this path, so the voltage across R1 will be equal to the battery voltage Vs. And uh, the voltage across capacitor will be 0 because uh, we have considered it as short circuit. Now, after a long time, uh, both of them are open circuit. So current cannot follow, I mean, uh, cannot pass through this because we have open circuit here. And current cannot go through this also because we have open circuit here. So basically, there will be no current through R1 or through R2. So the voltage across R1 or R2 will be 0. And as these two capacitors are in parallel and they are connected with the battery, so the voltage across C1 or across C2 will be the uh, same and that will be equal to the Vs. So in lab, we will have several examples like this. And I guess uh, you'll be able to solve everything. And thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you.